Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a fan film review of the Dark Knight Legacy Red Hood fan film. This was made two years ago. It has 14k thousand views, 591 likes, zero dislikes, and 89 comments. Uh, Woody... Uh, Woody Tondorf has 80 subscribers. The description of the fan film comes from the description of the video. A fan film imagining the world after Batman's death, saving Gotham from Bane's fusion bomb. Years later, the symbol of Batman is under attack by a new figure. Tim Drake, uh, Robin number three, and a young cop, C G C G uh, G C P officer named Stephanie Brown is step up and take back the mantle from the murderous vigilante. What do I like about this fan film? Well, it's superhero related. It's Batman related. I've done a lot of Batman related fan films on my YouTube channel before. Most specifically Harley Quinn who is a bad guy of the Batman. But this one is a little bit different because it refers to Red Hood and the third Robin and Stephanie Brown, who would eventually become the fourth Robin. I like Red Hood. He's a good character. If you didn't know, Red Hood was originally the Joker before he came, became the Joker. And then, um, um, after, um... After Jason Todd, the second Robin, died, he eventually became the Red Hood. They Batman thought he died, but he didn't. He came back for revenge against the Batman. Uh, like the story based on the events of the De Dark Knight and the death of Batman as its story device. So the story device is this takes place after the death of Batman when he stopped Bane's fusion bomb, which is in the Dark Knight trilogy. So that's why I like about it. It's a good story device. And it shows how Red Red Hood was used in the end. Uh, the story is always good if it has something to do with Red Hood. Like him being the main character in the story. He is the main story. He's the main vigilante. He's kind of like Batman, but instead of Batman, he kills people to get his point across. Um, the intro was cool with the Batman intro. Or, or The intro was cool with the Batman logo intro. Um, there was a lot of cool action sequences in the fan film. And Red Hood custom... Red Hood's... Red Hood's costume looks great for a live-action adaption. Um, unfortunately, in, in the MCU, there is there is no... Or the DCU, I mean, not the MCU. That's the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, the DCU... Uh, the DCU... Um, in the DCU... There is no live action adapt adaption of Red Hood. There's only a uh, animated one. So eventually, I hope in DCU, the DC Cinematic Universe, they eventually make a live action Red Hood. But I don't see that happening right now. They're focused on other Batman projects right now, and they're just getting off the success of the Batman. Which I have not watched, but eventually I'm going to watch it. I really do want to watch it. But I just don't have enough time to watch it right now. Um, so, that's that. Uh, so, what do I give this fan film out of 10? Well, I give it 8.5 out of 10. Um, this is the second... Uh, this is the second greatest highest video... Or, second... Second rated highest fan film on my channel that I have rated. And I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. And that's my fan film review of 
the Dark Knight Legacy Red Hood fan film. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, period.